Yo, all verse rise in my soul family. So you notice how those slave owner demons on planet Earth who who indoctrinated a lot of these humans to be programmed to think that you got to look presentable at a nine to five job corporation or else you're not going to get the job. And look at all the nine to five job corporation types that we have, right? Such as a Walmart, a McDonald's, a, a Winn Ditsy, a, a Family Dollar, every single nine to five job corporation, right? Last time I checked, a nine to five job place was made for you to work and get things done, have everything organized, not trying to like look look all like you coming from a a, a photo shoot. Because let me tell you something. If it really was if it really mattered for humans to look presentable at a nine to five job corporation that the slave owners created to carry on the devil's work then a lot of these humans at these nine to five job corporations would have been models at a photo shoot on a magazine and social media and be very famous. If looking presentable at a job interview in nine to five job places matter, then a lot of these humans would be models. Your father, your mother, your uncle, your auntie, anybody that you've seen at a grocery store, at a car dealership, Anybody that you've seen at a, at a job place, they would have been models themselves if looking presentable matter. Like, bro, if I care to be looking presentable and try to look all photogenic, I would just be a fucking model. I would just be a photographery model and be done with it. And look, in any ways, these nine five jobs where they, these these slave owners created to have these humans try to kiss up to a boss that's never going to care about their feelings once they, once once they hire these employees man these 9 to 5 job places they already got robot automation in action they got robots replacing humans at job places already so what is the point of trying to like looking all presentable trying to impress a boss that's never going to that's never going to get to know you, not going to become family with you, don't care about your personal goals or what you try to achieve, you strive to achieve. These damn bosses don't give a damn because even the bosses know robot automation is going to replace humans at job corporations, man. Why do you think there's so many doll-like doll, doll -like looking humans? Why do you think there's some robot-looking doll-like humans at job places? At grocery stores at the self-checkout centers and shit why do you think that so why does it even matter for a real human flesh being a human made of flesh trying to impress a damn boss at a job corporation when a boss is never going to give a damn about them a boss is never going to try to get to know them a boss is not going to hook up with them it's just not going to happen so why try to look presentable at a job place a job place that doesn't do anything to end slavery. Doesn't do anything to end modern day slavery. Why the fuck should it matter? Why the fuck do a lot of these... Why the fuck does it matter look presentable? Because at a job place, you're going to get dirty. You're going to get smelly when you're working 24 hours a day at a job corporation. Because job corporations is not like doing photo shoots, being a model and shit like that, being shirtless, wearing bikinis. It's not none of that. It's a nine to five job corporation. So why does it even matter to look all photogenically appealing and looking presentable for jobs where you just loading, loading beverages off a truck and onto a truck, loading things onto a truck and off a truck and put it in a, in a store aisle? And putting and putting things in, in a store to make it all organized. Who you know looks like a who you know try who, who like come on man. What purpose does it even matter for it to look like a model at a job place where a boss ain't gonna give a damn about you, not gonna be looking at you, not gonna try to hook up with you, and you trying to look like a model at a nine to five place like a grocery store or Amazon or UPS, which is places that's made for you to work and not be trying to look all good, trying to look good for a guy, or look good for a female. Like, 
come on, man. Like, looking presentable is a fucking indoctrination. That shit is a fucking slave control within itself. Modern day slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's so many individuals who get so many jobs and they don't be trying to dress up in suits and stuff. They don't be dressing up in suits and trying to like look like they come like they coming for a photo shoot at job at job places working at nine to five. They begin they man, they begin jobs looking like fucking Chad, Pookie and Ray Ray and all them, looking like Demon Nisha. Keisha, Keisha be getting jobs all the time. Look at how she dressed. Look at how Demon Nisha and Pookie and Ray Ray act. So they showing you that looking presentable don't fucking matter. Pookie and Ray Ray and Demon Nisha and Karen, they literally show you every day that looking presentable at a job place don't even matter, man. It's an indoctrination control made by the slave owner devils. And matter of fact, you know, a lot of you woke religious folks, you talk about how, oh, your savior got everything covered. If your savior got everything covered, if your Jesus got everything covered, your Jehovah got everything covered, why the fuck you working a nine to five and trying to look presentable for a fucking boss? That is not a savior that you be worshiping. That's how a lot of these woke religious folks got me fucked up at. Like, come on, man. A lot of these religious folks be worshiping a savior that never existed and trying to like impress a, a real life human boss at a job. What kind of fuckery is this? This man, this nine to five jobs was made by the so-called devils that you woke religious folks be hating on anyways. I know about me, man. Like when every every time when I go, when I went out to the mall, went out to a grocery store, and there was times I did dress flashy and all that stuff. Nobody nobody looked my way or cared to go out their way to talk to me. They didn't give a fuck. So why the fuck you think looking presentable at a job place even matters? If people in your neighborhood, people at a grocery store that see you and you dressing flashy, and you looking like you and you looking like you come into a photo shoot and they and they still don't care about you why the fuck you think that the boss gonna care about you at a nine to five job place every time they hire a person that looks presentable that's kissing their fucking ass they don't give a fuck about the employee that's why me i say nine to five jobs is modern day slavery and it don't really fucking matter it don't hold no fucking godly purpose how does a nine to five job compares to your your soulful vibrational godly purpose it don't these religious folks they even know these nine to five jobs don't hold no fucking candle to the fucking person that they are worshiping this person that you award this jesus that a lot of you religious folks worship didn't even want you to be working on damn nine to five that that's what the devil wanted your ass to do because the devil wants to fucking stress people out with money issues, bill issues. But look, man, I ain't going to get too deep into that shit. But y'all know, man, looking presentable at a job place don't even fucking matter. Because the boss don't give a fuck. It ain't like the boss trying to hook up with you. It ain't like the boss is going to support your your your, your self-owned business. It ain't like the, a boss at your job and employees at your job is going to support you on social media. Because look, man, any, any place that I have worked at. Man, ain't none of those employees, ain't no boss showed me no love on social media. I never became friends with no employees and no boss to be friends with on social media because I know they don't give a fuck about me. The employees at your job, the boss at your job, they don't give a fuck about you. So why the fuck you try to look presentable for people who never going to give a fuck about you? It don't matter. You don't have to impress these damn fucking whitewash usa folks these these fucking you don't have to you don't have to fucking do that you don't have to sit there and try to look all presentable trying to kiss ass to a boss at a nine to five corporation that's what's wrong with damn usa right now whitewash and guess what people of my skin tone with my hair texture you know folks that look caribbean looking indian looking african in usa the the slave owners they hate folks who look indian caribbean and african and look melanated asian 
with this Afrocentric hair and say we look homeless. The district's fucking spit that the slave owners have. Like, come on, bro. That's why I don't give a fuck about these nine to five job corporations in USA. USA is a fucking fraud ass country made by these fucking colonized slave owners. USA is not North America. North America been destroyed long ago. Come on, man. Seriously. USA was made by fucking slave owner colonizers. It was not founded by no fucking brown, copper skin, melanated people. Otherwise, nine to five jobs would not be a fucking thing. Money would not be a fucking thing. The, 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 the vibrations in USA would not be so fucking toxic. Where do you think toxic energies come from? Nine to five job places made by the slave owners. Come on, man. Fucking think. Come on. So why the fuck would you even care about looking presentable at a job place when robots are going to replace humans at job places anyways? Robots don't get injured. Robots are durable as fuck. Way more, robots are way durable than humans will ever be when it comes to physical durability. So why the fuck should humanoids be so concerned about trying to look presentable, kissing ass to a boss at a job that's never going to give a fuck about them and employees that's never going to give a fuck about them and try to get to know them outside of the damn job. It's, come on, man, think. If an individual is not going to support me on social media, I don't need to be at that damn job corporation. Fuck that boss. Fuck the employees. Fuck the fucking whitewashing system anyway. Fuck the devilish, narcissistic Jezebel system anyways. Look at presentable at that job. Don't fucking matter. You religious folks. You fucking know I'm telling the truth. Your fucking savior that you be worshiping like Jesus and all of them. That Jesus don't give a fuck about that damn nine to five job. So why the fuck she you? Come on, man. And look, man, I don't even tell this stuff to my biological relatives on my mom or dad's side. They, they afraid to speak this shit that I'm speaking. And they know it's the truth. I don't tuck my tail and run away against going against this whitewashed slave owner system in USA. That was made to fucking make humans be like some fucking bland robots in a fucking line trying to make them be like sleepy ass zombies. I ain't going out like that. And I speak against this damn slave on the whitewashing system, man. I love my Afrocentric hair. If a fucking boss and employees at a job place at a nine to five don't accept me for my Caribbean roots with my Afrocentric hair, then fuck the damn boss and fuck the employees and fuck the whitewashing USA system, man. USA is the, is the land of fucking slaves anyways. That's all I'm going to tell you. And look at this symbol. Oh, yeah. The Ankh. That represents one man, W-M-B-A-M-A-N, and the man, the uncle that represents man and woman. This makes USA whitewash system mad anyways. Kissing ass to a boss at a job, like, come on. And trying to look presentable, man. Trying to kiss ass, looking presentable at a job corporation when a boss is never going to give a fuck about you. And you're going to, and humans are going to be replaced by robots. So why the fuck it matter? It don't. Your godly purpose matters. Your talents that you use to heal earth and heal the whole multiverse and alternate timeline versions of the multiverse, that matters more than trying to look presentable at a nine to five job where a boss and other co-workers is not going to give a fuck about you and don't give a fuck about your godly walking prophet chosen one purpose, man. Come on, man. Come on. I'm telling you this the damn truth. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, all of this, all these social medias, you know I'm telling the damn truth. That's all I'm gonna say, man. That's all I'm fucking say on this, man. <sighs> because, come on, man, think. 